people stress the weather in the mountains. <laughs> Some people, it's like, was it driving a car for the first time? Catching a bus for the first time. <laughs> 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 The most stressful time other than this was in the same building. I went to a rave, okay, I went to a rave and I took a shit. I don't know what that means to anyone else. But to most people, you go to raves to take class A's and dance your tits off. What happened with me was I was dancing till three o'clock and then my tummy turned up to me and said, Hey Paul, I'm about to have a connection with my assholes. <laughs> I ran through those doors. And there's actually not those doors, the doors behind us. And uh, I knocked, I tried to go on the first toilet, wasn't it? Second one, two people in the cubicle now. I've got some guy projectile vomiting, like a, it sounded like someone emptying an oil barrel. Like it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was so heavy, it was unreal. And then uh, on the other side, I had someone chopping up some Charlie, like I think it might be your boy over there, you know, some Brazilian girl. Who knows? But anyway, I get out in, in the in my safe zone. Comforts around me, noises going left and right. The cake's down, everything's good. We know how to shit. Like, yeah, we all know how to do that. So, do that. And then there's a knock on the door every five minutes. And, and it's either someone going, oh, I need a fucking key up. Or someone going, oh, but you keen up in it? I'm like, no, taking a shit. <laughs> and you, you just see the bottom of his shoes as he stays there, you know. Obviously, security, he's got the, the steel toe caps on. And he just takes a whiff. <laughs> and then he walks up. <laughs> 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 